Hello and welcome to the second match of the Severus Mining PvP tournament. Today's match is the Lone Wolves against Osprey's Deal Damage 2. The teams are prepared and spectators have gather gathered in the center of the arena. And we are finally, after a delay of about one and a half hour, ready to go. Xigablo, give the command. Alright, three. I have to type these in chat, so it might be a little slow. Kind of not suspenseful. Okay, they should have been told to go, so they should be landing shortly. I'm really curious which fits they will show us today. And there they come. Oh, an Osprey, oh, another race. Osprey, and a Rapture. Yeah. Already seeing these fits, I'm gonna have to go with uh, Lone mm. Wolves. Yeah, I would say the same thing too. <laughs> Okay, so both it seemed... teams jumped in at about 50 kilometers. Yeah, they both decided to land at range. However, I will say that the um, Horatio's Caracal did land at 75. Now, whether this was intentional or not, I'm sure it was. It seems we might see uh, Horatio might have a sniper fit for that. Yeah, he's flying a carousel, so maybe he's going for uh, heavy missiles instead of heavy assault. Mm -hmm. Now, it seems the um, Adrena seems to be getting ahead of himself here. He's kind of flown his rupture in ahead of the uh, User entered your channel. Osprey, so that could be an issue. Yeah, and you were right about the sniping. This He's definitely using heavy missiles. How's it going? How's the fight going? It, it seems to be going well. Um, oh. <laughs> I don't think Adranus is... Uh, Adranus actually might be Sniper Fit too. He hasn't really closed a range. Which could be interesting. No, it looks like he's got Gatling guns. Maybe not. Yeah, he's, he's got... He's burning at... Uh, no, yeah, he's got a micro woodcraft fit. He's closing the range now. It seems as though they are really focused on those ospreys, though. Are they really flying ospreys? Two ospreys and a uh, and a rupture is lone wolves. That'd be a Dranus, uh, Trey, and Piggy to Piggy. Horatio's <laughs> landed right next to um, the orbiter and is really putting down some damage. Oh, he's got a warp scram fit. This will be uh, interesting, keeping that orbiter from uh, micro warp driving. And someone deployed Vespa EC thirties against those um, Ospreys or E six EC six hundreds. My bad. That might give them a slight edge, but yeah, it's is it the first time that we see ECM on the field? It is actually the first time we've been seeing ECM, though we haven't seen any with the first fight. From what I could tell when checking their ships, those Ospreys did have ECCM fit, so whether those EC600s are going to be enough, that will be interesting. It looks like the Arbiter's Hobgoblins are now going after the uh, Caracal. Wait, no, that's, that's not right at all. I'm reading these names wrong, I'm sorry. Yeah, the uh, Adranus' team, those Hobgoblins are going after the Caracal, not the Arbiter. The Arbiter is with Horatio. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the... Uh 
what the carousel is doing here. It's switched targets two times now. And it's our time. Yeah, that will be an issue because that orbiter will have a slow time changing damage since those drones are going to have to get to their target. Do you mean, are you, you're sure to say uh, arbitrator, not arbiter? Arbitrator, my bad. Again, okay, sorry. Okay. What exactly is the function of the arbitrator? Sorry. It's a drone it boat. is a drone boat, yes. A nice drone capacity, however, not that much bandwidth, only 50 megabits per second. Who is in the uh, arbitrator? Is it Mordek? Mordek would be in the arbitrator, yes. Okay. Yeah, it seems as though the E600s are uh, off the field. They realized they must have realized that um, they weren't really doing anything. Yeah, the chance to jam someone out with with these is not so high that it's really worth it in such a fight. And down goes to ratio. Oh yeah, nice. well that was obvious. Oh, the arbitrator! Oh my gosh, the arbitrator went down without us even noticing. I think. Yeah. Well, I didn't see it. So that was a quick too quick fight. to even see. Yes, very quick fight. Well. Congratulations to Adranus, Piggy, and Trey. They will be moving on to round two, while Horatio and, uh, sorry, I forget who else was on his team. Mordek. 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 <laughs> Mordek and Horatio and the absent Jason will be moving into the loser's bracket, hoping to redeem themselves. Now, will the losers face off with each other, or... How the loser's bracket works is the um, wh whoever has lost in the round one fights will be pitted against each other user to determine the channel. best loser. User joined your channel. And the best loser can re-enter into round one against Quasar and Paznor. Now, I believe that would be Horatio. What? <laughs> At some words. What happened? Weapons. Ospreys, man. Logistics. We team. thought it was a joker as a team name, but it came around and bit us in the ass. Mm. Yeah, that, yeah, that is very ironic, I must say. <laughs> Piggy, <laughs> Trey, <laughs> thoughts? That was actually a pretty good fight. Good job, guys. Thanks, this was damn yeah, logistics, was man. Did the uh, light ECM ever hit y'all, or was it just the medium? Those uh, drones, uh, rather. I've never. I didn't get ECM'd at all. I think Trey did once. Yeah, yeah. I got ECM'd once. Yeah, they weren't working very well for me. Oh. Get ECM on. Projected ECM. Uh huh. Any afterwards from anybody? Uh, even with the third, it would have been hard to fight against the logistics. Well, a. Uh, Again, congratulations to the Lone Wolves. You'll be moving on to round two. That was a good fight. That was. It was, thank you. Yeah, we saw our nice fight today, and uh, that's it from this recording. And I hope to see you on the next video, too.